and we want to talk to two representatives from the Member of Parliament Office for Lahogata Talparo, that is the MP Maxi Coffee. I have with me Rodney Reynald, who is the media representative, and uh, Shanice Headley, who work at the MP Office. And we are going to talk about uh, health fair, which is coming up, and the importance and, and significance of one of this, because I know for a fact that this is not the first health fair that the minister or the MP has had in recent time. Mr. Reynald, let me start with you. Um, what is the purpose of this health fair? The purpose of the health fair is to bring a uh, complete holistic um, being to the people of the community of La Hakata. And the minister, Honorable Minister um, Maxine Coffey, um, this is his um, about the second or third health fair in the area as well. And uh, um, three, BN and the La Hakata Seventh Adventist Church, we have been collaborated with the minister, Maxine Coffey, to actually um, bring about a holistic um, effort to let people know um, how we can provide their um, benefits of health in as uh, much capacity as we could be yeah. possible. And, and we hear people talk about health and health benefits all the time. Uh, Shanice, uh, why did the office, the MP's office, get in partnership with this organization? Um, well, we are also in partnership with the Community Hospital of Seven Day Adventures, so it was a very good collaboration to begin with. Um, what we wanted to do is bring services that persons will you know, they'll have to take more time during the week to go to a health center or go to the hospital or go to a private doctor. Mm -hmm. We said, yeah, was we can actually get it, if we could get it centered on one day for the residents, then they could come and they have it easily accessible. And the services that we have, you're not really going to find that everywhere because we have nutritionists on board, we have eye testing, dental services. So it's a lot for one day for everyone to have access to just on one day. Yeah, so so people need to go and check this out, especially if you're a member of the La Hakata Talparo constituency. Uh, Rodney, tell me about the past efforts and the turnout and the reception that people would have given. The past efforts have been fantastic. We have done a lot of groundwork um, uh, in collaboration with the minister um, and his team. We have went through the area, distributed flyers, we've had interviews like this, um, and we had a lot more um, marketing to let people know. The service that we offered is of no charge. We have consultations in different aspects, and we try to make it as more accessible to the community at large, and not just for the area alone, but for um, the nation at large. Those who are in the area who would like to drop in, please come on down. Um, it's from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the La Hocata South Government Primary School. Let's repeat, the La Hocata South Government Primary School, this Sunday, the 31st of March. Well. And, and everything is free of charge for, for members of the public? Majority of things is free of charge. What um, We have the pap smear um, examination for 45, mm -hmm. the prostate for symptom because of the materials being used. Uh, we just simply ask for a humble um, aspect, which is... I mean, that sounds relatively cheap compared yeah. to, to having to go and do the test elsewhere. Yes, it is. It is. And um, the Seven Adventist Church in the whole land, we are, we are um, fantastic on health as well. So um, the lock of the Seven Adventist Church endorses what Mr. Honorable Minister Max and Coffin is doing as well. And for uh, at least two to three years, we have been networking with them, as in the Lakota Seventh Adventist Church, as well as three ABN television as well. Yeah, that, and, and so far, well, based on the feedback that you've gotten, things have been going well. Yes. But I, I want to find out, how is the MP doing? I, I know he was, he was ill for a while, you know, he came out of hospital. Um, he's been doing great. He's been back out since last September, mm -hmm. and he's been seeing persons every week. He's great doing really well. Yeah, and, and well, that is good news um, for, for Mr. Maxi Coffey. The event itself, it takes place uh, on Sunday, 31st of March, 2019, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yes. at the... At the La Hocata South Government Primary School. Yeah. Yes, so... And it's an event that is open to constituents and other people as well. Yes, it is. You know, fr as, as you work at the, the MP's office, uh, wh what would be the feedback from people when they have initiatives like this and some of the other concerns that probably would be facing the community? Um, it's a it's a very well loved initiative um, cause, because we have different services like the pap smear and the prostate and you have the first 23. We have prisons there way before 10 o'clock waiting and ready for this. And any any sort of um, kind of initiative as this to bring the community together, we have a good support. So, so I, I, I don't know if I heard correctly. So it's the first 20 pap smear and... Tests are done free? 
prostate. Pap smear and prostate test. Is that a free? Did, did I hear that correct? First 20 persons. Really? Yes. Okay, so you didn't give me that information just now. You're <laughs> holding back on me now. <laughs> uh, you're holding back on me. <laughs> but talk about, and, and those are two important things because we've had a lot of discussions on the non morning show talking about the need for pap smears and prostate checks because, yes. you know, it, it can it can help people. Yeah, it could, it could. And um, it's, it's really, we have the med uh, medical social workers there and we'll have um, Dr. Owen Dosh, who's a naturopath. Mm -hmm. He will be there um, with Trey Abian, and the Eden Heights will be there as well. And a couple other uh, institutions, as well as the Community Hospital of Seven Adventists, will be there too. Right. Uh, yes. If people want more information on this, where can they go get it? They can call the numbers 664 um, 8770 or 363. One four four five. That is the MP's office number. And Facebook page, anything you know, everybody on we social on, media. Oh, we're on Maxi Coffee's Facebook page. You can find more information from the flyer on the page as well. Okay, so everything is on on social media. Um, what do you expect the outcome to be, Rodney, uh, from this event, and how do you plan to to progress with it if if you choose to do so? Well, Tree Ebian, we provide sustainability in the sense that while we encourage you to watch our first class um, television programs on health, reversing diabetes, and most non communicable diseases. We encourage people to watch these programs, which is done uh, basically as no charge. You just pay your cable bill and we are online as well. So all these programs are there. We have medical advice done in reversing most non-communal non disease in the land and a whole lot more diabetes, cancer, and a whole lot of other things yeah. as well. So an initiative that I think many people will be interested in going to check out. It's it takes place on Sunday 31st of uh, March 2019. The La Hokita Talparo constituency will be having their health fair. It starts at 10 a.m. and goes until 3 p.m. at the La Hokita South Government Primary School. So remember, you can go check that out. Thank you very much, Mr. Rodney Reynold, Shanice Headley, for coming in and chatting with us, telling us about this very important initiative. We